Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this video I'd like to show you about display states. Display states are embedded in your configuration manager and are there by default and if you choose to do nothing with them all it does is it gives you all the standard colors that get imported into the assembly uh, on the part level. But what uh, display states allow you to do is like uh, perhaps as a description maybe first to like paint your different parts and to have an assembly, one assembly with a bunch of different display states showing different color options in regard to the paint you might be putting on your part. So, uh, yeah, I mean, one advantage of uh, being able to paint parts and uh, being able to put those into an assembly, uh, one big advantage is that you have one assembly with a number of different display states. So, uh, and the, the only variation in a display state would be like uh, the paint color. So this way you don't have to put in a multiple configuration or uh, assemblies nor, heaven forbid, having to create multiple different parts with different colors to it. You could do all this on the assembly level. So enough yakety yak and let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice if you go to the configuration manager, you're going to have configurations on top. We only have our one configuration up here, our default configuration. And down here in display stage, which you see in the bottom, you can take your rollback bar and, not necessarily rollback bar, but go ahead and move that bar up to expand this area down here for your display state. And uh, you'll see that I have two display states already uh, displayed. And uh, you probably just have the one uh, display state one or maybe default uh, display state. So to create a new display state, you just right click. Uh, don't add a configuration, but add a display state and try to make it descriptive. So I already have a green deck, uh, blue parts, yellow deck, green parts. And by the way, uh, one advantage to painting your parts, especially in the assembly level, is that, uh, I mean, painting any part and in an assembly is uh, attractive when it comes to purchasing a plus um, you know it's attractive to your neighbor too I mean a uh, yellow and green lawnmower is certainly more coveted a uh, John Deere lawnmower than some you know other different color from some unknown brand out there so I just wanted to go ahead and mention that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to define it by, define it by um, uh, what the deck color is going to be so we're going to make this orange call it orange deck and then uh, space and I don't know, which should we make the parts? Maybe uh, yellow? We'll make them yellow. No, we'll make them red. We'll make them red parts. Okay, we have that selected. And that's important to know that uh, the, you know, you're going to be selecting that specific display state for whatever changes we're going to be making into our assembly. So we're going to start from the very top. And uh, you can see all the default. Uh, you do have to open this up, by the way, too. So, this button up here allows you to open up a uh, show display pane. And it has uh, a number of different display options up here, including uh, transparency, whether it's hidden or showing, and uh, the appearances up here, and the display mode too. But uh, what we're interested in is this column, the appearances. So it comes in, the mower deck comes in with a default of, uh, of red when it comes into the, into the assembly, but we're going to go ahead and change that. So if you don't have a, a, a triangle up there, Go ahead and click in that space where that triangle is going to be. This is going to be a, an appearance that's going to override the part appearance. So this is going to be our display state for orange deck uh, red parts. So we're going to make our deck orange. And you want to make sure that when you scroll down here that uh, orange deck red parts or whatever display state you created here is selected. Or you can specify that display state. You can do it for multiple uh, display states too. Works the same as uh, with configurations. So we're going to choose orange deck red parts. Go to green check mark. And then click on the parts you want to change. So we're going to click on that wheel. Go down here. It's not really selected. So we're going to go into that wheel. Make a selection here. Go to appearance. And we're going to make that red. Green check mark. And again, go down here and double check. Make sure you're putting it into the right uh, display state. Go to green check mark. This guy. Go up here. Appearance. Red, same thing as before. Green check mark. And while we're up front, we're going to go ahead and click on our uh, front wheel support. Good appearance. Red, green check mark. The back. It looks like a hamburger in a way coming together like that. Go up here to the upper triangle. If it's not appearing, go ahead and click in there and it will appear after you're all done. Green check mark. And two more. We're going to go to that wheel, change that appearance to red. Green check mark. And again, to this one down here, I'm going to make that red. And green check mark. So now you have that new display state. 
Kind of cool. Let me show you some of the other display states I have put together. Go to Configuration Manager. The default display state is the one that came in uh, on the part level. These are all the colors in the part level. Then here's the, the green duck blue parts. Yellow duck green parts. Here's your John Deere mower. Orange duck red parts. One curious thing about this. If you go back and forth between uh, the one display state and the other one, uh, the colors on the part level have a tendency to go back, to revert back to their original uh, part color. Kind of odd, but if you go between the different display states, it doesn't do that. These glitches come up only seldomly. You don't see them very often, but there you go. So I'm going to go back to the orange deck red parts. If you do go to rebuild, it puts those colors right back in, uh, the colors on, on the assembly level. So that's Display States, a short introduction, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we will talk to you soon.